Hey y'all, I'm Corey Ashton and this is day 10 of 30 days of SEO. I have been walking you through each and every day now a quick tip that might help you to optimize your WordPress website to improve its organic rank. Yesterday we talked briefly about the impact of images on your WordPress website and why it's so important to have image content on your website. Well, today we're going to talk a little bit further about that same thing, about optimizing those images even one step further. So let's go take a look. So anytime that you are working in your WordPress website on a page or a post and you want to add in an image or an icon for that matter, um, I want you to go this one little extra step. So wherever your image is, let's go ahead and go through the process of adding an image in here. Let's add in this one. Let's see this one. See this field right here that says alt text? That's the one you really want to take a second and fill in. So I'm just going to put my name. What you want to do there is do a description of what the image is about, right? So I'll give you an example. That's a headshot, right? And you can say Corey Ashton headshot if you want to right there, just kind of explaining that's me with a headshot. If you had an icon like this or some graphic, um, this would be a subscribe, right? Subscribe to YouTube for Corey Ashton. So you could if you wanted to. Sprinkle in a little bit of extra description there. You could say for WordPress tips, if you wanted to include your keyword for SEO, right? And what that does then is it allows us, let's go ahead and choose a little bit here. I'm gonna go ahead and do it full size for now. Insert in a page. So that's gonna live right here, right? This is inside of our editor on the back end. I'm in the visual mode. If I go ahead and preview this on the front side, what that allows us to do is um, if that image were to break, potentially, it would render that alt tag right there. It also, though, allows the browser to then read that alt text to an individual who might have a disability. So it can actually offer more explaining of what this picture is, right? That's the exciting thing about this. If you right mouse click and inspect it, you should then be able to see it inside of the nerd code. Let's see here. We're gonna go up here and see, here's the whole path. Let's see, I'm gonna move this over so you can see it a little bit better. Oh, move this over. Awesome, let's scroll back up here so you can see the code itself. And you're gonna see the image, you're gonna see the class, you're gonna see the source. So there's the URL of where that file lives. And right there next to it is the alt tag, subscribe to YouTube for WordPress tips. So that's exactly what is going to be read aloud inside of a browser if somebody does have a disability. Additionally, that's also gonna be read by Google. So it's a great opportunity to sprinkle in your keyword and gain some momentum there with SEO rank. The other place to improve rank though, not only is your alt tag, but also in how you name the image. So that's the other exciting thing here. If I were to name this appropriately, this could add some SEO punch as well. So let's go back here and see what it's named. It's named 6476365 underscore preview.jpg. That doesn't help me at all. Do you see that over here? There's nothing about that file name that gives me any SEO boost or any clarity for that matter to Google. It has no idea what this is. So it's very important that you name your images correctly, right? This one here as well, Corey Ashton named this crazy long number. Gives me no help. If somebody goes in and does an image search inside of Google, that's no help. So you definitely wanna be sure that your images are named correctly before you upload them here to your library. Let me give you a quick example. I'll show you one right here that's named appropriate. So this is a cover shot. This is actually a featured image for one of my blog articles about mobile first design. And the name of the image is mobilefirstdesigntips.jpg. That's done correctly. And then the alt text is mobile first design tips. Perfect. Another quick example here. This is another one for fix the non-secure warning on WordPress. And my image is named not secure warning wordpress.jpg. And my alt text, not secure warning in WordPress. Fix it. There you go. So I will say this. If you've already got a huge library of images living here like I do, I mean, this thing goes on for years inside of here. It's difficult to go back and rename them. There's not really a quick process of this that I know of because these images live in multiple places more than likely on your WordPress website. So this might have to be a new best practice moving forward on your image naming. 
But what you can do right now is go back into your media library here, uh, over here on the left side of your website. Slide this just over here. And if you were to go into your library, then here's where we go. Into your library and you can jump in here and just go through one by one, right? One by one here and change the title here. And then up at the top, again, let me show you that. Up at the top, there's this little navigation right up here uh, that you can see. So you can just click here and go on to the next image. So YouTube, subscribe, WordPress, tips, right? Something like that if you wanted to and just kind of scroll through your entire library. Now those things will live there automatically. And if your theme calls it and your theme was coded correctly, then those alt tags will drop in effectively into your website. How cool is it y'all that just by going that one little extra step, you not only get to bless everybody who comes to your website who might have a disability, but you also get to improve your organic rank inside of the search engine results. I love a great deal. That is a great twofer. And this is a great SEO course totally for free, which is always in the budget. So be sure to check out the links below. I'm going to give you a free course where I walk you through each one of these 30 points on this worksheet. Head over to my website and pick up your own copy. Get access instantly. All right, y'all. I'll see you tomorrow for the next one. Hang in there. We're working through this. See you then. Bye, everyone.